Jesus says, my sheep hear my voice and, and they follow him. As a child of God, you, you gotta follow Jesus. You gotta follow the voice of God. And some of you folks should be ignoring the voice of God for way too long. Some of you folks should be ignoring God's voice way too long. You're not, you're not in your Bible, you're not praying, and you, and you, and you can't hear God. Hey, some of you folks need to come out of this club lifestyle and repent and, and, and get right with Jesus. Because you, you can't hear Jesus when you're not in your Bible. You can't hear Jesus if you're getting drunk and stuff, you're smoking weed all the time. It's kind of hard to hear God if you listen to all this disgusting music. So you people need to hear the word, the word of God. You need the word of God inside your soul. Because the word of God will cleanse you from all sin. So the word of God will cleanse you from all this filthiness. Because God will give you a new mind, he'll give you a new heart. And, and that's what you folks need, you need a new heart. You, you, you need a new mind. Because everything out here is defiling you people. You know, this, this sin, all this sin equals death. The wages of sin is death. And nothing out here is beneficial for you. Nothing out here is good for you. You need, you need to be born again. You need to come out of sin and, tur and turn to Christ. You need to turn to Christ immediately before judgment comes upon you. Because judgment is coming upon a, a wicked generation that doesn't want to obey God. You people need to sur surrender your life to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You gotta surrender your life to God. Hallelujah. You people gotta come out of sin, surrender your life to Jesus Christ before it's too late. We're in the last days and many people are on their way to hell because of sin. The wages of sin is death, people. The wages of sin is death. You're wasting time out here. You don't got time to party. You don't got time to go to clubs. If God took your soul tonight, you would not go to heaven, folks. You going out here living in club life, living in sin, you would not go to heaven living this lifestyle. I promise you right now, because God would not be mocked. This lifestyle it is an abomination against God. God hates wickedness, God hates sin, and God calls us to holiness. The Bible says without holiness, no man shall see God. See, without living for God, living in holiness, you won't even see God. God will send your body straight to hell so quick, it's not even funny. Because God has a standard for his kingdom. God has a holy standard for his kingdom. What standard do these bars and clubs have? What standard does this does Fremont Street have? Fremont Street has no standards of holiness. Because this place is called sin for a reason, called sin city. And sin is transgression of the law. See, the devil wants you to sin. The devil wants you to live in sin. But God wants you to live in holiness. So yeah, you must brother. pick. You gotta be born again, man. You gotta yes, come sir. out of sin, yes, bro. Yes, hey, can sir. I give you the gospel track real quick? Hey, can I give you the gospel track? God bless you, man. So people, you can't live in sin and call yourself a child of God. You need to come out of sin and repent. You need to repent and come out of sin and, and be what God made you to be. God did not make you to be like that. God did, not, God did not make you to be a homosexual. God did not make you to be a game banger. This is the devil's work. The devil is working hard in these last days. The devil is working hard in his evil generation. But there is a light. There is a light. The light of Christ is still shining in this dark world. The Bible says we know we're the children of God and the whole world lies in wickedness. So that means most of the world is wicked. Most human beings are evil, but there is a remnant of the light of Christ. The children of God are still reaching out to the lost. Because a lot of you folks, you're a lost sheep. You're a lost sheep in a world that's not meant for you. Jesus Christ left the 99 to go for that one lost sheep. And a lot of you folks, you're that one lost sheep trying to fit in with the world, trying to be cool. You don't even like doing this stuff. 
and Jesus Christ Almighty, Yahweh, is calling you to come out of this lifestyle and come back to your first love. Because your first love is God. It's not your girlfriend, it's not your boyfriend, it's not your mama. Your first love is God. You love God above your parents. You love God above your, above your homies, above your girlfriend, above your dog. You love God above everyone and everything else. Because if you do not love God above these people, you won't serve God. You will coward out. You will fall back into sin. And this is why Jesus Christ says, you must, you must be willing to give up mother or brother or sister to serve him. You cannot serve Jesus Christ half-heartedly. You might as well just be an atheist at that point. You don't say you're, the, and you gotta live for him. You gotta live for him though, and come out of sin, stop going to clubs and stuff. Because God is gonna reject all fake Christians. There's so many Christians in hell. There's so many Christians in hell, and Christians get the worst torment in hell. Because as a Christian, you know better. You know better as a Christian. As a Christian, why are you going to clubs with the witches and warlocks and the Satanists? You should be preaching the gospel. You call yourself a child of God, but you're too busy getting twerked on by, by homosexual, or too busy trying to flirt with some Jezebel. So Christians get a worse torment in hell because of their hypocrisy. So this is why you must walk in righteousness and holiness and not play with God. Because God is, not, God is not some play toy. God will come back. And if you're not ready, people, it's gonna be terrifying. Many people are not ready for the Lord to come back. Because folks, if you live in this lifestyle, you're not ready for Jesus to come back. You're not ready. You're not ready, you need to get ready. That means come out of sin, be born again, get washed in the blood of Jesus, get baptized. Not if you're living in sin, you're not ready. You're definitely not ready. If you die right now, you will not go to heaven if you're living in sin. If you're living in sin, are you living in sin? Are you getting drunk? Are you getting drunk? Well, you're cussing, so I know you're not ready. You're definitely not ready. If you're cussing, you're not ready, bro. I anyways, so yeah, like you said, folks, a lot of you folks, you're not ready. You're not ready for the Lord to come back. You're out here cussing and drinking and stuff like that? Absolutely not. You have to live holy and righteously. And God can help you do this. But you got to humble yourself. See, Bible said God gives grace to the humble, but he resists the proud. You got to humble yourself and get right with the Lord. You got to humble yourself and get right with the Lord. Humble yourself. Come out of drunkenness, man. Hey, get right with Jesus, man. Get right with Jesus. Come out of drunkenness. Because the Bible says God resists the proud. See, God cannot stand prideful people. So a lot of you people are too prideful. You're too prideful in your sin. And the Bible says pride is the beginning of sin. See, your pride is going to destroy you. Your pride in your little American heart is going to destroy you. Because you think you're too important for God. You think you're too busy for God. You think you're too fancy for God. You're too beautiful for God. You're too rich for God. Yeah, right. God's gonna throw you to the lake of fire. Because all you folks are poor without Jesus Christ. You're spiritually poor. You're spiritually poor without Jesus. You don't have any love. You don't have any peace inside your soul. That's why you, you crave this stuff. You need a girl by your side because you're so lonely. This is a lifestyle as a sinner. You always need someone next to you. You're never, you're never satisfied. You need more drugs and more sex. It's terrible. The life of a sinner is terrible because you're never satisfied. But with Jesus Christ, you actually are satisfied. You're complete. The Bible says we are complete in Jesus Christ. So when you have Jesus Christ, you have everything you need. And this is what you folks need. You need to be complete. You need the Lord. Because all this stuff out here is going to drain your soul. It's gonna drain your soul. All this sex, all these soul ties, all this pornography, you're draining your soul. The devil is draining your, all your energy because you're giving none of your energy to God. You got God, bro? You believe in Jesus? Yeah, yeah, All right, man, you gotta be born again, though. Huh? You gotta be born again, you know what that means? Born again. Do you know what that means? Yeah. So what does it mean? I'm just asking. Born again, like, um, I forgot what it's called. When you get um, baptized, so born again, it's like, well, born again is when you're, when you're born from above. When you're born again, you receive the Holy Spirit. And when, yeah. you, and when you receive the Holy Spirit, you start walking in holiness and righteousness. You start 
and you know you start you 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 walk with the fruits of the spirit you yeah. fear god you're not living in sin so when you're born again you start bearing good fruit you know what i'm saying so as a born again christian this place right here fremont street should disgust you you know what i'm saying because it's sin as a born again yeah. christian you love what god loves you hate what god hates so you see you see the world through god's eyes so you look at people who are broken and, and you have to have love compassion for them so this for you Thank man you so reach that when you get home have a good night, god bless you man. yeah 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 so hallelujah so jesus says you must be born again and, and when you're born again you're, you're born from above you have a spiritual birth when you're born again you you receive the holy spirit when you have the holy spirit you have love you have joy you have peace and that's what you folks need because you folks don't have that that's why you're going to clubs and bars you need actually real peace not this fake peace not this cheap peace you got to pay for at a bar but you need eternal peace that comes from god you need eternal love that comes from god and you can save your money you can save your money not get your heart broken all the time but all these random guys and clubs Actually find a true man that loves you, find a real woman that loves you, and commit to them, be faithful. Because a lot of you folks, you have never had a good relationship in your life. You have never had a good relationship in your life because you're living in sin. You're living in wickedness. The Bible says evil pursues sinners. So if you believe in as a sinner, there's all types of evilness pursuing your, pursuing your head. But blessed are those you do not take counsel for the wicked. So people living in sin is a curse upon your life. There, there's no blessings when you live in sin. There's no protection when you live in sin. But when you're under the, the wings of the Most High God, you have this protection from all evil. The Bible says the, the, the righteous are as bold as lions. The Bible says the righteous are bold as lions. See, as a saint of God, you are bold as a lion because you have the Lion of Judah living inside you. This is the good news. Got a question? They call me most blasphemous preacher Zenith. I'm an ordained minister for the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. I'm just kind of curious. Why a book? What do you mean, why a book? Why a book? Like the Bible? Why the book? Like, like if the God wanted proof of his existence and he wanted his creations to know of his existence, why a book? Well, gosh, he, didn't, he doesn't need a book to prove his existence. Okay. See, so, the Bible, so, can, I, can, I, can I answer you? Yeah. So the Bible says creation itself is proof of God's existence. And God put that in you to know he, he, he exists by creation. Because for instance, right, a builder takes a building takes a builder. A painting takes a painter. So creation takes a creator. And Adam and Eve, they never got a book. Like Adam and Eve, they never got what? Adam and Eve, they never got a book. Okay. Yeah, they didn't need, they didn't need a book. Uh -huh. you, know, you, know, you know why God gave us a book? Because we know that it was right, but we don't do it. And God has to hold us accountable for our sins. So do you need a book? We need a book. All of us need a book because we don't obey God. We should know to do it with the princess, right? We know murder is wrong. We know murder is wrong without reading the Bible, right? You know, you know murder is wrong. You don't need to read the so Bible. between morality and legality. But I'm saying morality is right in your heart. Like, you don't need, to, you don't need God to tell you do don't you murder. Animals? Huh? Do you eat animals? Yeah, I do. So are you a moral hypocrite or? No, because God doesn't say anything about it's wrong to eat animals. Um, actually, he does. He doesn't. But let me, so, let me explain to you though. The, 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 the temple, of, the temple, but the the, um, the den of thieves, right? There's, the there's the unclean animals. There's right. unclean animals right. that okay. you shouldn't you eat. You know what he was actually pissed off about, right? What Jesus was actually pissed off about? What do you mean? When he flipped over the tables? Yeah. When people, they were selling money in God's temple. No. They yeah, they were. They were selling animals. They were selling in God's temple. It was a mass slaughterhouse. No, it wasn't about that. Yes. It's about he yeah. defiled God's temple. In the new covenant, we're the God's temple. So living in sin okay, so, is defiling God's temple. So, so then do you protest banks also? What? Do you protest banks? I protest sin. What God says is sin. Okay. I don't make up sin to protest. How heavy is sin? My like, morality away, comes from God. I don't make up morality. I don't make up morality. Okay, how do you know that sin exists? Because by, the Bible says so. Oh, and so God book. gives us the Bible. Yes, book. we have I books have to tell book us. Too. Yeah, but yeah, the but the Bible is the truth. Why, why, why is your book more truthful than my book? The Bible's improving. My, my book is actually substantiated by science. Well, the Bible's not a science it, book. It's a modern faith that actually aligns well, with science our Well, science doesn't disprove the Bible. Uh, no, but science can be measured and weighed rather than just someone saying, sin, sin this, sin this. Anyone can say anything. But science is sin. You can't prove sin with science. Science can't prove morality. Science can't talk about morality. But, but here, here's, here's my issue. You're talking about morality, but you're a moral hypocrite. Wow. By what standard are you but, talking? What, what standard? Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill. 
What did you eat for dinner? It's talking about humans. It's not talking about animals. Sorry, what? It's talking about humans, not animals. Why? Aren't animals God's creations? And aren't humans also animals? God gave us animals for us to eat. To really? Show. really? Jesus, Jesus ate fish. That, that sounds like a really shitty plan, don't you bro, think? Bro, if you don't want to listen, bro, you can go on. Go to no, hell. No, no, no. I'm not gonna you argue with you, bro. My questions, bro. Bro, you can't, you can't no, teach me nothing, this bro. Is, no, this is why people have an issue. I'm with answering, religion. but you're trying to, you're no, trying to argue no. against me, bro. No, I'm, I'm a preacher of God. You can't, bro. You don't know the Bible. You don't read the Bible, bro. You don't know the Bible. I'm a preacher too. I know the gospel. You're, you're, going, to hell, you're, you're going to hell, bro. You're going to hell. You need to repent. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. But you are going to hell. You need to repent and come out of sin. An emotional manipulation. No, I'm telling you the truth, bro. I'm getting to the point. Think that you're a creator. He's your creator too. He's you your think, creator too, bro. Okay, fine. He's your you creator think too. Creator, no, I don't fine. think I know. No, I don't. I, have I don't think I know. Of my creator. You can go across the street and you can actually physically touch our creator. Okay. Can, can you touch love? Can there's you touch evidence. love? There's can you touch love? That. Can you no. touch? Okay. Love. So what are you talking about? Because okay. you can touch it. God is a spirit. No. God is invisible. The monster is real. He exists. Okay. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. I, re I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Yeah, okay, I rebuke every evil spirit right now in Jesus' name. No, I won't pray. No, bro. This is the no. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Hey. These generations full of mockers and scoffers. Listening to a 2000 year old book. This is thing, folks. Jesus Christ 2024. is coming back. I the Holy Church, without spot, without blemish, without wrinkle. You must get right with Jesus, folks. Without Jesus Christ, you will perish. Without Jesus Christ, you're going to perish. You got to come out of sin. You got to be born again. You got to be born again. Without Jesus Christ, folks, there's no forgiveness of sins. Only Jesus Christ can save you from the wrath of God. Only Jesus Christ people. can save you from the wrath of God. I rebuke I every demon right now in Jesus' name. I rebuke you every evil spirit right now in Jesus' name. I send Instead fire against logical, every evil spirit right now in Jesus' name. I rebuke every me. evil spirit right you now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's Thank you, Jesus. But only Jesus can save you, brother. Why Come out of sin. He can give you real peace. Jesus can give you peace. Jesus, is, demons get mad at the gospel. Demons hate the gospel. Demons hate the gospel, and that's why he's acting like this. But I don't care though, because there's power in the name of Jesus Christ. There's power in the name of Jesus Christ to save you from all sin. Because nothing in this world is going to save you. Only Jesus can save you. Only the name of Jesus Christ, the name above every name, is the name that can save you. Now, that's why people hate the name of Jesus. That's why people hate the name of Jesus. Because the name of Jesus has power. The name of Jesus has power. But there's no power in Buddha. There's no power in Allah. There's no power in Muhammad. There's only power in the name of Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, submit yourselves to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. So you must submit to God. If you're not submitting to God, what are you submitting to? If you're not submitting to God, you're submitting to Lucifer, the devil, automatically by default. So who's your God? Who is your God? Is it money? Is it sex? Is it drugs? Who is your God? Is it Jesus Christ? Or is it sex? Or is it money? Who is your God? You cannot serve God and money, says the Bible. You cannot serve God and mammon. Who is your money? Some of you folks, you sell your body for money. Some of you folks, your money is God. You sell your soul for money. So who is your God in this lifestyle? Are you going to submit to Jesus Christ? Or are you going to submit to money? You must pick one. You cannot play both fields. You can't say you love God and go to a club. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. You got to repent. You got to repent. Repent means to turn away from sin. Turn away from sin and run to Christ. Run to God. Run to God. Hey, man, I got something for you, bro. The gospel track. The gospel track, bro. Hey, God bless you. So this is the thing, people. And this is the thing, people. You gotta come out of sin. You gotta be born again. Put, put down the beer. Pick up the Bible. Put down the porn. Pick up the Bible. Put down the weed. Put down all that stuff and pick up the Word of God. It's the only thing that can give you life. All this other stuff is killing you, folks. You're killing yourself slowly. You're killing your soul with sin. Wages of sin is death. There's no life in sin. There's no happiness with sin. There's no joy in sin. That's why many people, that's why many people are miserable. 
Many, many people hate the gospel. The gospel is offensive to sinners. It's supposed to be offensive. The gospel is supposed to be offensive to sinners. And because God doesn't want you to be a sinner. God wants you to be righteous. God wants you to be righteous. God wants you to be holy as God is holy. God says be perfect as he is perfect. But how can you be holy living in sin? How can you be perfect if you're going to clubs and bars and stuff like that? So people, to live for God, you must separate yourself from the world. You must be different from the world. As a child of God, you're supposed to let your light shine in, in that dark world. Because this world needs hope. This world needs a savior, which is Jesus Christ. But many people, you have this fake savior. You put your trust in Trump and Biden and science and all these other weird people. But there's already a savior of the world. There's already a savior. Jesus Christ already saved the world. So why aren't you saved? God came down and died for you. So why aren't you saved? Why are you still depressed? Why are you still cutting yourself at night? Why, why, why are you still suicidal? When the Savior Jesus Christ came down and died for your sins to set you free from sin. Are you afraid to speak to me? But there is freedom in Christ. There is freedom in Jesus Christ. But there's slavery in sin. He who sins is a slave to sin. Stop being a slave to sin. Stop being a slave to sin. And be free. Be free in Jesus. Be free in Jesus. There's freedom in the blood of Jesus Christ. There's freedom in the blood of Jesus Christ. But come out of here, my people. You should not share in her plagues. God is calling you. Come out of this evil world. Come out of this lifestyle of wickedness before it's too late. Because there's judgment coming upon this wicked generation. Many people, God's judgment is already upon you. Many people, this generation is dying young, overdosing, suicide, going to festivals. You're dying young because you're rejecting the knowledge of God. Stop rejecting the knowledge of God and repent. Come to the knowledge of God. Come to the light of Christ and come out of spiritual darkness. Come out of darkness and come to the light. Come out of this lifestyle, bro. Go to Jesus, run to Jesus, man. This is serious. This is serious, this is a serious message. This is not a joke. Your soul is not a joke. Your life is not a game. And time is running out. Time is running out. And what are you gonna do when you stand before God? When God asks you, what'd you do with your life? What'd you do with your life? Come to the Lord Jesus before it's too late. The devil's time is running out. The devil wants your soul. So you need to come to Jesus, man. Come to Christ and repent. Hey, man, that's not going to save you, bro. That's not going to save you. You, you got to live for Jesus. A Jesus necklace is not going to save you. There's so many Satanists who wear a Jesus necklace. A, a Jesus necklace is not going to save you. You need to be born again. You need to be born again and actually live for the Lord. You need the Holy Spirit. You must be a new creature in Christ Jesus. You must have a spiritual birth from above. You cannot love the world and love God at the same time. And this world is so perverted. This world is so perverted. Your, your adults are perverted. And you make the children perverted just like you. Some of you folks, you're perverted just like your, just like your ancestors. And you make kids perverted too. And this is why God's gonna destroy your nation. And people say, hey, why do God wipe out nations? Why do God command, why do God wipe out nations? Because nations get like this. Nations get like America. People take their kids out here to Fremont Street, full of half-naked girls and women, full of clubs and bars. And you people think it's okay. He say things like, hey, don't judge me, man. Don't judge me, man. Only God can judge me. Yeah, God's gonna judge you, right? God's gonna judge you and send you to the lake of fire. God's gonna send you to hell. I'm out here warning you before God judges you. Because if God judges you, it's not going to be okay. It's not going to be great for you. Especially as a sinner. It's not going to be cool. Because God has no mercy upon the wicked. When you die, folks, that's it. There's judgment. Mercy is offered now. This is why God sends people to warn you. God.
God sends preachers to warn you now of judgment so you turn away because God's wrath is going to hit your face. God's wrath is going to hit you people when you least expect it. And you don't want to die in sin and go to hell. You don't want to die in sin and go straight to hell because you love your lifestyle more than Christ. You love Las Vegas more than heaven. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. God, Jesus is Jewish too. What is that point? Jesus is also Jewish. You know, being Jewish doesn't make you doesn't make hell go away. You know what I'm saying? There's all people in hell, black, white, Jewish, gay, straight, all types of people are in hell. Because they all have one thing in common. They all rejected Jesus Christ. There's so many Christians out here going to hell. There's so many homosexuals out here going to hell. God has no favoritism. God doesn't play favorites. If you love sin, God's gonna reject you. This is what the Bible says in Acts 17:30. God commands men, all, all men everywhere to repent. God calls all of us to repent and turn to him. All of us must repent. So you gotta repent and come out of sin. You gotta repent, bro. You need to repent and come out of sin because time is running out. Time is short. And you don't wanna die in wickedness. You don't wanna die living a lifestyle for yourself. Living just for yourself, all about you. All about you. What about God? What about Jesus? It's not about you. This world, this life is not about you, folks. When you realize that, you have so much freedom and so much love. We realize life is not about you. Because you didn't make yourself. You didn't create yourself. You're created with a purpose. You're created to worship God and serve God. You're created to worship God. You should not be worshiping satanic music. You should, not, you should not be worshiping yourself. You're created to worship God. So are you worshiping God? Or are you worshiping the world and Satan? Because you must pick a choice, you must pick a side. Because Jesus Christ is looking for those people who worship him in spirit and in truth. And Jesus is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. He's the only way to the Father. Jesus is the only way to the Heavenly Father. There's no other way to heaven, only through Jesus. Without Jesus, you are doomed. Without Jesus Christ, you are doomed. But there is hope because you're still alive on this earth. You still have breath in your lungs. The day for salvation is now. The time for salvation is now. So come to the Lord while he can still be found. But there is mercy for those who fear God. There is mercy for those who fear God because God wants everyone to make it. God does not desire for any to perish, but all to come to repentance. God wants you to repent. God wants you to repent and come out of sin. It's for you, bro. God bless you. God wants you to repent and come out of sin. There's eternal life found in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Hallelujah.